Let's make the front panel. Select the outline of the front body. And select this pocket as well. Go to menu, treatment, set piece. Pattern name, same hoodie jacket, piece name, front body. We are going to cut the front one pair, left and right. Fabric would be self, plan, and click OK. Here you go. Front pattern on plan view. Hi, I'm Jean, and this channel is all about pattern making. This is a continuous lesson. Who the Ziba pattern making with pad? In episode 110, we started drafting the basic frame and we did the back body and half of the front body. Then in episode 115, we completed the front body and drafted the sleeve pattern. I was going to draft a hood pattern today, but I realized I already have a video that shows you hood pattern making with pad, episode 105. Watch all of them if you want. I'm going to put all the links in the description box. And today, let's make a actual pattern pieces on the plan view and piece view. Here are the patterns we made. Body, sleeve, and hood. Because we drafted from scratch, you see there are a lot of guidelines. But before we trace the pieces out, I want to add the front pocket. So select the center front line, select the Add Point to Segment tool, and click this point, 6 inches. With the Segment tool, draw the line. The length, I would go with 3 inches and a half. Select the hemline, add point to segment, same 6 inches, and draw a 2 inches length segment, and connect to segment. OK, let's trace them out. The back body, select the outline, center back without the hem band, Neck, shoulder, armhole, side seam, and hem. Go to menu, treatment, set piece. Pattern name, let's say hoodie jacket. Piece name, this is the back body. We're going to cut one single piece because the center back will be folded. Fabric would be self. I have a video on how to set up this fabric list, episode 27. If you haven't watched it yet, the link will be in the description box. And click here. We are creating the back pattern on plan view. Click OK. You have the back body pattern on the plan view. Let's make the front panel. Select the outline of the front body. And select this pocket as well. Go to menu, treatment, set piece. Pattern name, same hoodie jacket, piece name, front body. We are going to cut the front one pair, left and right. Fabric would be self, plan, and click OK. Here you go. Front pattern on plan view. You can repeat the same process for the handband, sleeve, sleeve cuff, and hood. OK, 
Okay, now you see these are drafting and these are patterns. Let's clean up the patterns. For the back body, I'm going to delete this extra point. And I want to make a double notch here at the armor. Select the point, go to menu, treatment, item info, double notch. For the front, let's separate the pocket. You can make a pocket from this pattern or from this drafting. It's going to be the same. Select the pocket outline, set piece. Pocket, one pair, plan. So on the front, Remove this extra point, make a notch at the armhole, single notch this time. And you can keep this pocket shape on the front if you want. Then I would change the pocket line to a dash line. Select the pocket line, go to menu, treatment, item info, this one. If you want to make drill holes, select this pocket entrance line, select the tool parallel line. Create a line one quarter of an inch inside of the pocket. Select this line, go to menu, treatment, punch holes. Then press the delete key on your keyboard just once, then the segment is deleted. But you have to drill holes. And you can delete the pocket line. But I want to make notches on these two points. So whichever way you want. For the hood, select this guideline and delete it, and delete this point on front, and select this high shoulder point, and make a notch. And select this regular point, treatment, point, change them to mark points. If you want to learn three different types of points on pad system, Watch my video episode 32. Okay, and let's move on to the sleeve. Look at this sleeve cap. You want to have this curved line as a contour line, but the contour line is this straight line, right? You can delete this guideline and revise the curve with curve tool. But I'm going to remove this sleeve pattern and we'll create it again. While the pattern is activated, if you click this little garbage bin, you can delete the whole pattern. And from the drafting, I want to delete these little straight lines. And select the outline again. And set the piece again. Then delete this internal line we don't need. At the shoulder, I want to make a single notch. Select these two points, change them to the mark point. And then uh, let's move the sleeve here, close to the body. Select this segment. Select the tool segment length. Click one of the end point. It shows the length, 3.952. Copy it. 
and select the sleeve front armhole. Select the tool Add Point to Segment and click the underarm point. Paste it 3.952 and choose Single Notch. New point is created with a notch. Select the point, item info, I want regular point. Let's do the same on the back. Select the underarm line, measure it, create a point with a double notch, and change it to the regular point. Lastly, for the handband, here is the center back. It's going to be fold line. And for the side seam, delete this line and make a notch here. And we don't need these points. Okay, we created all pattern pieces on the plan view. I'm going to show you creating the pieces on the piece view and adding seam allowance next time. If you want to have PDF written instructions for my YouTube tutorials, go to my website and join my membership. Every Wednesday when my new video is posted, I send PDF instructions to your inbox. I put the QR code on each instruction so you can easily find the video tutorial from the instruction. With time, you will build a huge pattern making library. It's amazing. patternstudio101.com forward slash YouTube. The link will be in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have a great week. See you next time.